Hey guys, welcome back to my SEO in the Graph Factor video. This week I was focusing on the guild rate that was happening and trying to find a suitable build for it. At first I was preparing two maze sets that match the boss with weakness that focuses on the utilizations of the shield of loyalty Kesmel to maximize my damage. This looked like a perfect build for me, but as I did a run test on the boss, I realized that my damage was very low before the 5 minutes mark passes because the boss has a really high defense stats. I could only do decent damage when I connected my skill with the Kismel buff. Then I noticed my veteran guild member Ophelia uses auto attack and was able to do more consistent damage. So I decided to change my build and do the same thing during the first 5 minutes and that was the right call. My normal attack was doing over 50,000 damage per hit and during rush it can get over 100,000 damage now. After the 5 minute had passed, my mace skill was able to do a proper damage and after the 10 minutes marking was passed, I was able to get a very satisfying 55 million damage without many buffs. And from this weak guarantee gacha, I got these two sword skills in which the Alice skill is a duplicate. On the free daily banner, I did not get any 4 star skill this week and it was the last of my free daily gacha. The other thing that I did was to test a skill that have an effect that give more than regular increase in switch gauge. I was curious if all the skill that have the bonus would increase the same amount of switch gauge or not. And the short answer is... No. Let us use the piercing hero Kirito skill as the baseline, since this is the most popular skill among the skill that can give more increase in the switch gauge. Testing from the empty switch state, I can get the switch filled up to the middle of the zero number here. If I use the passion attack Alice skill that also have the same switch increase bonus, it doesn't fill up as much as the piercing hero Kirito, as you can see in here. Now if we take a look at this one Wisachi skill that has the same bonus when used in burst, the skill will fill up half of the switch gauge when we use it in burst, which is a lot more than the piercing hero Kirito skill. What about the bow skill that have a charging mechanism? This Moon Archer Sarchi skill has the switch increase bonus when used in both charge and the uncharged state. Let's see how they compare to each other. When the skill is not charged, it does not get to the middle point of the zero character. And when they recharge the skill, the switch gauge is filled up to the middle point of the zero character. Or a little more. So charging the bow skill actually increases the amount of switch that we can get. When I was testing the skill, I also found one surprising thing on my axe skills. This Golden Guardian Leafa has a bonus to increase more than regular in switch gauge, and it can fill up the switch gauge the same amount as the piercing hero Kirito. A little backstory to this, I was watching Alice Z videos a while back and asked Alice why she always uses the Tea Party Leafa skill on her speedrun. She responded back saying that it has more than regular increase in switch gauge. But when I look into the skill descriptions, I don't see the more than regular increase in switch gauge bonus on it. So I thought Alice was referring to the golden hair guardian Leva that has the same skill animations. I was reminded of that conversation when testing this. So I tried the tea party Leva skill and to my surprise, it can increase the switch gauge the same amount as the golden hair guardian Leva skill. Now that made me wonder if it was because they have the same animations that they can receive the same amount of switch gain. So I tried to prove with the free hit cliff skill that has the same animations as the piercing hero Kirito's and it does not increase the switch as much as the piercing hero Kirito. Looks like the tea party Leva skill is just special and maybe Bandai just forgot to add the bonus on the skill descriptions. So the lesson that I learned from this test is that each skill has a different amount of switch gain and usually they are based on the attack animations. So test out your skills and who knows you might find the easter egg like the tea party leva skill that can increase the switch as much as the skill that has more than regular increase in switch. 
I mentioned piercing hero Kirito's skills a lot in this video, and if you don't know why this skill is good, check out this next video and I will see you in there. Bye now!